Hello, uh, this is Raj Misa, so we're live on Facebook and we, uh, this video is getting recorded on YouTube as well. So, in this video with respect to the negotiation series, let's find out the wrong and right way to negotiate. So, to really get a feel for how all the basic skills and strategies of negotiation come together, I want to give you two short scenarios with uh, Ram, a conference manager, and uh, Alex, an executive director of a non-profit organization. So the first scenario demonstrates the wrong way to negotiate and the second one demonstrates the right way. So take a look, uh, but okay. I'm going to give you a call back. Hey, thanks for meeting with me. Uh, Alex, is this a still good time? I've been putting up fire all morning, so don't be surprised if you get interrupted. I know you're busy, so I'll get right into it. Uh, our research on conference engagement from last year is complete. It points to shifting from the traditional breakout structure and uh, instead making it super interactive by bringing all the presenters into one main room. So I don't know why we would want to do that. Last year's conference was pretty well received, you know. That's not what the survey is uh, indicated. And besides, it's just uh, a tied format. Our research shows that attendees don't want talking head lectures, but hands-on project-focused learning so they can implement immediately. Not only that, but around we are eight months before the conference. It seems a little risky to be making changes at this point. And especially since we have our own main presenters already logged in. Listen, I've uh, taken mainly the seniors into consideration, the senior speakers to show for the conference um, and also they are lined up and rafted uh, revised topic flow, made each attendee table into work group with a facilitator. So I love, uh, in fact, Ram, I love the sound of it, but our registration page is scheduled to go live in three months. So Alex that is totally doable. I really think it's now or never. So you can't afford to keep losing sponsors and attendees. Listen, why don't why don't I go over the details with your coordinator and we can show you how it's all mapped out. Uh, because this is, I'm so sorry, I have to run, but to be continued and for now, let's just leave things as designed. Call me on Friday. Okay, so not a lot of collaborative problem solving went on in that conversation. So Ram's ideas are excellent, but this first mistake was trying to speed through his proposal. Even though Alex was con uh, clearly uh, preoccupied, so Ram wasn't able to unpack the benefit of his proposal to Alex's organization. And when he encountered resistance, he doubled down and defended his ideas instead of getting curious about uh, Alex's concerns and finding a way to turn them into solutions. So let's rewind. Slow things down and watch how Ram uses the skills we have covered to hone in on Alex's concerns and change the results. So you'll see those skills highlighted as they are applied in this scenario. Hey, thanks for rescheduling. I'm glad to hear uh, your father's on the bench. Thank you. Uh, he was really touch and go, but he's doing good now. Good, good. Okay, good. So is it still a good time to go over the conference research? Yes. Yes, I'm anxious to hear what you have learned. Great, so I know we are eight months ahead from the event and only three months away from going live with the registration. But if you really want to boost engagement and sponsorship, what all the research points to is shifting from the traditional breakout structure and instead bringing all the presenters and sponsors to one main room. So what are your thoughts on that? I don't know, Ram, so just making changes at this stage just seem uh, just seem to be a little more than risky so what are your biggest concerns unlike the wrong way to negotiate example so run slow down things engaged in a little small talk and checked in on timing all good when he framed his main idea he ended up by asking a diagnostic question to allow alex to voice our concerns so let's take a look at how ram moved things through and passed now so i think that Changing the structure is a little late to be changing the structure, especially since we have already or uh, we have all our presenters locked in. 
plus we are light on sponsorship so with respect to the kind of uh, sponsors who had come from it's uh, quite less so sounds like revenue is a big concern right exactly and going back to each one of these presenters to make sure that they're okay with any of our changes it's going to take time that we don't have right got it i really had the same concern so here notice how ram uses labeling to name alex's concerns about revenue uh, she's feeling hurt and they have point of agreement now watch how ram incorporates her concern into a new possibility so with the revenue in mind i interviewed a few conference directors that have been super successful with this format and the said sponsors are knocking down the doors to paris pay well i love to see that happen well listen if you don't think it's in the cards for this year we can point it to the next year for sure but right now i just wanted to get you excited about what's possible now what i like to do is go over some of the research with you and i can show you the revised draft i came up with so you can make an informed decision so what are your thoughts on that okay let's have a look okay so ram let's alex have a sense of control about the times of making challenge uh, making changes i am reframed his request from you uh, got to do this now to let's just take a look at how it might work and he finished with an open ended question to get uh, alex uh, engaged and into problem solving mode so i have two quick takeaways i want you to get from that scenario one change your approach from transactional to relational by slowing things down and getting connected two make space for objections and push back in other words get to know as a matter of habit so you can pave the way to get getting to yes so try try these techniques and be a happy negotiator uh, you will be able to see the results not immediately but definitely and i always keep guiding uh, many of these people to work on this okay so i'll see you in the next video and uh, happy negotiating Signing off, Rajmi Sakhapal.